Welcome back to the Mojave. It's time to recruit another follower and tell his story. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped, but at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. It's time for us to part ways. Why does everyone always say that? I do. We'll meet up at the Lucky 38. Nice! Can I order room service? Hi! If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Why do you do research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Why don't you come with me? No offense intended, but why should I go anywhere with you? Things are bad around here. I'd like to make a difference, and I'd like you to help me. Hmm. That seems appropriately resolute and yet vague. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and go with you, but let me be clear about something. If you plan to help Caesar's Legion, this is going to be a brief relationship. I may not have all the answers for how to fix Freeside's problems, but Caesar taking control isn't part of the solution. Fair? Fair enough. There's something about that robot that doesn't seem... all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? Okay. Fine. Ignore me. Just don't ask me to reattach your arm when your pet murder machine goes into search and destroy mode. Arcade is somehow able to use power armor, so I'll give him that and a laser rifle and we are good to go. That's a lot of energy weapons. Brings back some interesting memories. Do the followers use a lot of energy weapons? Energy weapons? Of course not. I mean, but we study all sorts of science and technology, so, you know, we... You just kind of get familiar with them. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I fucked up. Oh shit, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. So, I forgot that wearing Brotherhood power armor means the NCR is going to attack me. I couldn't get them to stop even by taking off the armor, so I just killed, uh, three people. Good news is that one little incident wasn't enough to ruin my reputation with the NCR, so I can go, uh, tell Dr. Hilder the bad news about the vault. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. I brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. By the way, you never warned me about the dangers in that place. Didn't I? Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not. Or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? All that matters is whether the data is intact. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. I'd be careful with that data. You didn't see those plants in the vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable, but I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. Hildern is a good example of big picture obsession gone too far. At some point, he became so fixated on large-scale results that he lost the concept of the common good along the way. It's an inhumane kind of public service when people and the basic resources they need become numbers in a ledger. Good thing there are still people like you around. Kind of you to say, but there are better people than me around here. 
I just hope the followers can make a difference in the long run. I'm going to help out the NCR more later, so that I don't anger Caesar's Legion at the moment. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Colonel Shu wanted me to help you look into the recent intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd, or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. I just want to say, I love that the three of us apparently fly under the radar around here. You still got like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Now what kind of MP would I be if I didn't notice anything suspicious? I've had soldiers go AWOL, break-ins, thefts, you name it. Who's missing? Well, there's Anders. He's a ranger. That one's not suspicious so much as worrisome. He left on a dangerous assignment. Colonel Shu sent him out. Now I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. Anyone else missing? Yeah. The man I'm more interested in is Corporal White. White had a lot of promise. Wanted to be a ranger as bad as anyone I've seen. But he also had some extracurricular activities going. Now he's gone. I'll see what I can find out about Corporal White for you. Word around the bases, he'd been going regularly to visit a hooker named Dazzle at Gamora. That's a casino on the Strip. Classy place. His belongings are up in the barracks in the concourse building. First bunk on your left if you're facing it from the center. I haven't had a chance to look through his things yet, so that might be a good place to begin. Goodbye. Yep. See you around. The Strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things and people. I'll never understand the allure of giving away your money to the rich. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? Goodbye. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Hi, honey. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? Every night's ladies' night here. You ever spend time with a trooper named White? Yeah, he used to come around here a lot. Haven't seen him in a while, though. Why? He's gone missing, and I'm trying to track him down. Any ideas? He used to go on and on about water and the farms east of the Strip. He was talking to one of the farmers named Bascom. Had some problem with NCR. Boring as hell, but it was his money and his time. So I let him talk about whatever. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Howdy. Something I could help you with? I'm looking for Corporal White. I was told that he'd spoken to you. Yes. He said he was looking into the water shortage, but I haven't heard back from him. Got the feeling he wasn't here in any official way. White was talking to me about computer stuff and water delivery schedules through the pipes, but I'm just a farmer. Tech stuff is beyond me. The last person I saw him talking to was Lieutenant Romanowski. Romanowski's around here somewhere. Sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Adios. I'm not a recruitment officer. You want to join the army? I'm sure someone at McCarran can point you in the right direction. I'm looking for Corporal White. Trent told me you'd seen him. Corporal White is currently solving the mystery of the great water shortage. Tried to convince me he had proof even. I didn't buy any of it. He went over to Westside to talk to Tom Anderson. Anderson's a follower of the apocalypse. Helps the people in Westside grow crops or something. Crops in Westside? The apparent water shortage here can't be a coincidence then. I really don't see the connection. Look, I'm a soldier, not a scientist. I just do my job. Tom Anderson, can I help you? I heard Corporal White came here to investigate a water shortage. No one by that name has come here, I'm afraid. You must have heard wrong. 
You can ask around if you like. They'll all tell you the same thing. It was easy to figure out that the NCR water shortage points to you. Save me some time, will ya? Fair enough. Since you seem to have pieced it together, I won't insult you by denying it any further. I killed Corporal White to protect Westside's self-reliance. It was rash, and I regret it now. We don't have money to pay for the water, so I rigged a pump station to divert water to the local cisterns from time to time. I'd rather not turn you in, but someone else might come looking for White. If the NCR thinks White was killed by, say, members from the Scorpions gang, it may be enough for them to close the case. Consider it done. You stay free, and Westside keeps getting water. Thank you. What happened was regrettable, but I'll make sure it never happens again. Interesting way of handling things. Very subrosa. I don't know if the Scorpions deserve to be wiped out for something they didn't do, but that's one less problem Westside has to deal with. You're back. I have an update on Corporal White. Don't tell me. He married the hooker. No. A gang called the Scorpions murdered him. A man named Anderson witnessed it. Shit. That's why you don't go wandering off looking for some call girl on the strip without telling somebody first. Anderson. Is that the followers of the apocalypse, Anderson? He wants you to increase water flow to Freeside. Said it'd be lost otherwise. Man, that guy's got water on the brain. Knows more about water pipes than any man should. If he says we're losing water, I think the Colonel would listen to that. I'll talk to him about it. But you, I owe you for this. You saved me a lot of work. And I'm sure Corporal White's family will be grateful to at least get some closure. I've leveled up, so I'll put points into survival, as well as medicine to heal faster and heal more with stim packs. On that note, I want to take the fast metabolism perk for a 20% health bonus when using stim packs. I almost died in that fight with the Rogue Brotherhood of Steel Paladins, and I don't want that to happen again. It's supposedly possible to trigger Arcade's companion quest early if you do enough to gain his trust. But according to the wiki, that should have happened by now, and it hasn't, so I'm going to keep trying a little longer. some work with the, <clears throat> the government before the war. Rockets and some energy weapon prototypes, I think. It's an odd combination. Repcon went through some rough times. When the rocket business was shaky, Mr. House purchased the company. It didn't take long for him to repurpose their plasma technology for a government weapon contract. How do you know so much about this again? Stop thinking so much. Thanks. So, battling robots helped earn his trust, but he still hasn't revealed his secrets to me. battled a bunch of radioactive ghouls and took their armor, which isn't radioactive, so now the NCR won't shoot me on sight. Fast shot is a huge help for winning fights at close range, but it gets frustrating trying to fight things from a long way off. These robots I'm fighting really can't handle the armor-withering power of this minigun. Interesting. It's 
It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. When was that? Huh. Good question. Must have been in a book. I've looked into it, and Arcade actually won't give me his companion quest unless I progress the main story a little bit. So, it's time to go back to the Topps Casino. Here's Benny Sweet, where you may recall I murdered him. Now it's time to start exploring. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you! What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man? What kind of a name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Benny reprogrammed a Securitron all by himself? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Have you seen this platinum chip before? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! What was Benny planning to do with the chip? Oh! He wanted to kill Mr. House and use the Platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently, his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. You're very forthcoming with that information. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Say I wanted to take over New Vegas myself. What then? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to. But hey, not my fault I can't say no. What are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been invited to visit Lucky 38. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. What do you know about the courier Benny shot? I knew she was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for her. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route, and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? I'm the courier Benny shot. <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. I'm serious. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. 
I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. I have the platinum chip, remember? Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. I used the chip to put an entire army of Securitrons on standby at the fort. Really? An army of Securitrons? Upgraded, no less. What a development. An army like that should be enough to defend Vegas from... I'm gonna say anybody. Goodbye. See you around! I just want to say, I love Yes Man. His voice actor, Dave Foley, is just so good. He's just so cheerful no matter what happens, and I absolutely love this guy. Alright, I'm going to go kill Mr. House now. So, we meet in person, finally, so to speak. You did well at the fort. Kudos. I take it you've come to deliver the platinum chip? Not so fast, Mr. House. We need to discuss payment. Fine. Give me the chip and I'll pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? I'll hang on to the chip for now. Hmm. How shall I put this? Delivery of the platinum chip is non-negotiable. I invite you to think carefully about what you do next. Standing alone before me, surrounded by my heavily armed Securitron guards. Attack me, and you risk destroying the chip. By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home and ransom my property to me? I spent two centuries searching for the Platinum Chip. It's my invention, my property, MINE! Now be a good courier and deliver it! Here you go. Why, thank you so much. You played that very poorly, you realize? I've leveled up, and... Since my skills are so high at this point, I'm just going to max out medicine. And then I'll put a single point into sneak. Enjoy all the Vegas Strip has to offer. There's a terminal here that I'm not authorized to access, so I better use a stealth boy first. Business. If personal gain, what you sought, should have done as asked. Time for you to die, Mr. House. May there be a hell for you, a Tartarus, bleak, unending. Securitron on the network! 
every Securitron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? The Securitrons at the fort are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. Should I ask the tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, Go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Goodbye. Come back later if you need anything. I need to talk to you about something, if you have a minute. Sure. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past and how I might be able to help out. What are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers, or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorized communities, kidnap people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. Where did the Enclave go? A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. Where are you going with all this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things, but there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. Say no more. I'll do it. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old-timers, the remnants. I don't think I could convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. Now that I've killed Mr. House, Arcade finally told me about the Enclave, and how I can recruit them to help out. I'm sorry, this update is a week late. Tomorrow I'll release a short video about three easy to find and very powerful weapons in Fallout New Vegas. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Saturday.